Hi, my name's Glenn Hasselman. I'm just making this video for the free accounting software users to show you guys how to um, find and correct errors with single touch payroll lodgements. So I've um, set up a batch um, for this um, pay run. Um, I've entered one pay slip already, um, not intending for this pay slip to have an error, but this pay slip will be a correct pay slip and I'm going to add a second payslip this time to um, create an error. I've um, set up this employee called another employee and I'll just pay them um, standard 38 hours normal time. Now um, the error that I am going to create is an incorrect amount so I'm going to actually override the tax calculation and um, instead of putting a um, subtraction of tax I'm actually going to add that back okay um, now you should avoid this error because you can see that the net pay is actually more than the gross so um, you sort of see that and go hey I'm not paying that um, so that's wrong but let's say you missed that and somehow forgot to enter that as a negative amount. Um, you also should probably be thinking um, about overriding the tax calculation. Shouldn't really need to do that. Um, so anyway, this is going to create an error. If I scroll down to the pay event info, uh, this is actually the first pay for the employee in this um, financial year. So the tax withheld is the negative 342. So um, in free accounting software, um, the amount uh, is um, um, entered, the, the pay as you go withheld is entered with a negative in front of it. So all the amounts sort of just add without any um, reversal of the sign. But in the uh, single touch parallel lodgements, uh, or in most of the ATO lodgements, they expect all these amounts to be positive. Okay, so in any case, um, I'll save it as it is, and that will create an error. Um, so going to the transactions page, we can see now we've got two pay slips, and let's just lodge this and see what happens. Right, and then you can also see there the year to date tax is negative over there. Okay, so um, going to do the lodgement now. I have to wait the 68 seconds for this to happen. Um, just point out the batch status is now on sent. When it's sent to the ATO, it's not um, we want to go to lodge complete when it's um, when the um, it's successfully accepted by the ATO. Um, it starts off as created um, status. Now, I'm ex what I'm expecting to happen here is for it to have a partial accepted status. So the ATO is going to accept this lodgement because one of the pay slips does not have an error. Okay, and so this batch status will still go to lodge complete status um, and there is um, um, a different way to correct the error so in the previous video it, it, I corrected an error where all of the payslips had um, errors in fact there was just one payslip but th that had an error so I corrected it in this case it's something slightly different so now it's completed um, lodging um, and it's come back with this informative message um, so if I look at the batch status it's actually status has gone to lodge complete so even though there was an error the ATO has accepted this lodgement now this message gives you some good advice um, which is 
saying, warning, some payslips have errors. Either send an update of the rejected payslips to amend this lodgement and fix the errors. Um, or three, just correct the errors and get it right next time. Okay. Um, so if your next pace, and there's a, a another comment there that says, uh, if same financial year and within 14 days or the regular pay cycle like monthly so you are allowed to take no action here and simply um, resolve the error on the next um, uh, pay cycle for the employee however if it was the last pay in the financial year then you will need to make the correction. Now I know a lot of people like to um, just get that tick in the box and get it right So um, as well so you know um, I'll show you how to correct it. Now um, I'm actually going to show you option two which is to amend this lodgement and fix the errors. Okay. Um, actually says bracket option one is preferred um, but yeah I, I feel like option um, two is pretty nice and easy so we want to amend this lodgement okay first before we do that we might have a look at the error okay because I guess you'd make your decision based on what the actual error was so um, let's go and look at that error first so we can see here on the list of transactions that this employee here does not have an error as expected um, and uh, that's why this lodgement was accepted over here this one has the error and if you have a long list of employees it's good to see that you can just go directly to the one with the error. So going into this payslip we can see that um, the error message is here. It says the value specified for an item does not match an item type and then it actually um, it's going off the page there um, but it says minus and that thing. Um, sometimes it's difficult to decipher these error messages but if you keep looking through it there is a um, um, hint in fact this hint is not necessarily any more informative it says hint the min inclusive constraint fail and then it's giving you a field name um, and in a couple places the field name refers to tax pay as you go withholding so hopefully it's enough to um, decipher what the um, uh, error actually is in in the case of it going off the side I sort of do these videos on a sort of shrunk down screen on the basis that it'll fit on my website a bit better um, but you shouldn't really have a problem with it going off the edge of the screen like that. Okay, um, so um, let's correct that error. So first of all, we can't modify this payslip right now. If I'm, click, I'm clicking all around there, all these fields are disabled. And that is because the batch is on lodge complete status. So this is now a record of what was lodged okay um, and that's why it's not letting you um, change it so we can change it but we have to do something first so clicking on the transactions and going to the STP lodge page um, there is a button down the bottom which is to amend this STP lodgement Okay, and um, 
that is going to re-enable it so that we can make the changes and then we can change it and resend it to the ATO. Um, I guess a bit of a downside of doing the correction this way is that we are overriding that record of what was lodged to the ATO. Once the lodgement is the amended lodgement is is lodged, it doesn't matter anymore because that file has been replaced at the ATO end as well. Um, so anyway, um, I'll click amend this lodgement. There's a helpful comment. It says batch amended. Now fix pay slips or other data and redo the lodge or update. Okay, so. Um, let's go back to the transactions and into this pay slip and um, put the negative amount in front of that pay as you go withheld. Now that then recalculates and flows through to the um, tax withheld. Yep. So now that I've um, clicked that amend button on the STP lodgement page, it's letting me um, change the payslip. So I'll save that, um, go back to the transactions and to the STP lodge page, and now redo the lodgement. So just before I do that, I'll point out that this um, amendment field is now set to yes. So this is amending the lodgement and I'll click lodge. Now that'll take the 60 seconds again to to go and retrieve the messages. Um, one thing I want to point out is that you can only amend this once. So if you uh, try to amend this and then there's still an error message with it, you cannot do a third amend or do a second amendment of the lodgement. You then would have to do uh, one of the other two options, either wait for the next pay cycle or um, make the correction and then send an update event. Um, so what I'll do is I'll do another video where I'll show you how to correct this using the update event method rather than um, this method. Anyway, it should be getting close to 68 seconds now. Okay, there we go. The um, message has been accepted. So if we look at the batch status, it is now sitting on Lodge Complete um, and the amendment is set to Yes. So we can see that this is lodged and it was an amended lodgement. Okay, um, thanks for watching. I hope the video has been useful.